In this question, we very cruelly have a cruise ship crashing into a dock, reminiscent of certain bad sequels of a series involving fast driving vehicles. Anyway, I'm dating myself here. What they want us to calculate is this thing called the average force. So as the ship crashes into the dock, the force could be could change, right? As you crash into different parts of the dock, it could be pretty complicated. But sometimes we just compare the initial and final momentum, knowing that the change in momentum or the impulse is given by force times delta t. We can take the overall impulse or the change in momentum, just divide by time, and kind of find an average force. Unfortunately, they didn't give us the time. Instead, they gave us the displacement. I guess that's a lot easier to measure after the fact, right? These collisions happen pretty quickly. So we will take the hint and calculate the time using kinematics. To make it actually doable, of course, we have to already make the assumption that the force remains constant, so that the acceleration is constant. So then we can actually make use of our kinematics equation. They did give us a little eye hat here, so that implies positive x points that way. So if we look at the eye hat component. To find time, we might want to use that, but we don't know a. So let's find a first. Since we do not have the time, we have to use this one. Vf is zero because you full stop. The initial speed is as given divided by two times six meters, which is my、uh, displacement. No surprise that we get a negative because we expect the acceleration to be slowing the boat down. With that a, we can then find delta t. Again, vf is zero, so delta t is as simple as that. Remember the negative of a negative, so we don't end up with a negative time. Everything makes sense. If you really want to insist, you can say both of these are vectors, right? And then there's invisible i hats here, which cancel out. All consistent, but 16 seconds. So pretty slow, but Understandably, right? You have a big cruise ship. It's going to take a long time to grind it to a halt. So now we can put our conservation of momentum statement out once again, looking at the cruise ship, tracking all external forces, and that's the force from the dock, presumably. The impulse we're going to say it's the average force times time already, and At the end, the whole thing comes to a stop, so there's nothing there. I've included the I had in the velocity because that all still carries through. Just going to show you how that will give us the force vector directly. Subbing that in, you have a substantial amount of mass going not very fast, but you still have a lot of momentum because of the big mass. Therefore, the force is quite big. No surprise that the dock is totally getting destroyed there, and the i hat carries through. So you end up with a force that's in the negative i hat direction, as we expect. A few too many digits there, so let's change it to scientific notation in the negative i hat. So sometimes, if they give you the initial momentum, the final momentum, you can then find the impulse, and then therefore find kind of like the average force in between.